Tuesday Partridge, and I came up here from Mobile, Alabama. This is our first time. This is Garrett Howell. He's playing guitar with me. Uh, this is the first time ever in Michigan for either one of us. Get in this 
singer's coat Underneath them neon bar lights that was tinted with cigarette smoke And she was sipping on this top shelf whiskey and slowly tapping her feet To the song my band Playing to a slow and bluesy beat. And I was leaning back on the kick drum, a worn out Gibbs was in my hand. Playing them country blues Just as sad as a white boy can And she sounded like a hallelujah When she said, boy, do y'all take requests And then she whispered soft into my ear And this is what she said But you're gonna have to do much better Cause the blues ain't gonna get you Out of Alabama And last night your band it was high And tonight they're even better But the blues ain't gonna finish the set and then I rolled the dice and asked that girl if she had time to dance I said oh what brought you to a place like this she said I'm just passing through town as we twirled around in the neons on this whiskey I know. 
know you're trying hard, but you're gonna have to do much better. Cause the blues ain't gonna get you out of Alabama. And last night your band it was high, and tonight they're even better. But the blues ain't gonna get you. off of it. <laughs> it's been my most popular tune, at least in the digital world. It's called Colors and it's about finding love in less than perfect circumstances. I hope you like it. Purple mascara 
his eyes, so pitifully confessed. I was a three time loser with a black cloud that followed. I was a formerly handsome mess. Yellow bloom, you said to me. I ain't never met a man with no obvious plan and such honesty. And I've been broke too, and money reds and heart. But you won't hear tonight, so let's paint ourselves lucky. song I wrote called A Partridge's 403rd Freak Out. I hope you like it. Well, sometimes I think we're already dead, or this trap that I call time is just some inception like dream state I'm in as I lay down. I think maybe we never existed at all We're just some five sensitive hallucinations Or just the mirror image of a higher reality Beyond our comprehension And I lie awake at night And I can't keep my mind from wondering About what it all means That I have the ability to wonder what it all means Do you know that nobody in this whole wide world Can give you the definition of consciousness that doesn't venture off into religion or some kind of absurdist pseudoscience. And since I started listening to both sides without caring on to which side I fell, well, I found out that there were more than two sides if you really want to know a subject well, which only led me to more heartbreak as I thought about all the fights that had been started by two sides and neither one of them were truly wrong or right. Considered the brutality that I witness every day And how numb to the sight of human suffering I've become in my middle age Cause all the fascists and the commies is spewing out their dogmas And taking over the conversation And any voice that's devoid of an agenda Has been removed from consideration And I started thinking about the weapons of mass destruction Biological, chemical, and nukes that we could have them all fired from the push of a button of an orange presidential buffoon. And so I started reading up on how to survive a nuclear apocalypse. And after my research, I concluded I didn't even want to survive to live in a world like that. So even if I 
try to be positive and convince myself someday we could actually have peace. Well, it's then that I realize in like a billion years or so this planet's going to cease to be because the sun has gravity too, you know. We're being pulled in as we orbit. And if we don't find a way to destroy ourselves, then the sun's going to do it for us. and the greatest amongst us all who gave their lives to learning and research and made great discoveries about the world. And then it occurred to me that all truth exists long before some learned man makes it known. I mean, if you think about it, E don't equal MC squared just because Einstein said it was so. Now, considering this, science kind of seems like a waste. I'll just devote myself to art. At least an artist creates something of value, a unique representation of his heart. And then I looked around at this plastic world and their frowning faces and their disdain for beauty. And I saw all the poor starving artists dwelling at the fringes of a cold society. But you know that we would not have fur release if it were not for an individual named Beethoven. And we would certainly not have the White Album if Paul McCartney never met John Lennon. And I said, well, maybe that's my problem. I miss my Lennon. Somehow that chance done pass me by. And that's the reason I'm sitting here singing this stupid song and losing my freaking mind. And then even this stranger thought my tortured mind began to ponder. Lord, I wonder if Einstein met McCartney first while John Lennon studied the great wonders. I mean, I ain't saying it would have been the Beatles, man, but it'd been interesting to see what they put out because I know that Einstein had some pretty cool hair, but I wonder if he could twist and shout. And maybe if Einstein had been singing, oh, blah, D, oh, blah, D. Instead of drafting the letter to Roosevelt that paved the way for a nuclear bomb, then a little boy from Nagasaki could have married a pretty young girl from Hiroshima, and they could have sang old blah dee blah da together and taught their children songs by the Beatles. And I can't imagine that the guy that wrote Imagine would have been any use in a science lab, lest that lab had the sole purpose of giving world peace a chance. So we gotta get it into the science and I Einstein to McCartney, we gotta find a way to get back in time. But then I realized if we ever build a time machine, it'll be based on the scientific work of Albert Einstein.
I was drinking whiskey with my Sprite and I was toasting all those ghosts of the lost southern pines when I heard a lurking in the night. I knew something wasn't right as I was covered in the white of an otherworldly light and I looked up and I beheld it was a spacecraft from another world. At least that's what I thought I observed Cause I ain't learned But I can certainly confirm That there ain't nothing on this planet ever turned At the angles and the rate of speed At which it surged And then I heard my neighbor Wanda She was cursing in slurs As the UFO swirled And upon her trailer it converged she was carried away in this tractor beam. It was a horrible scene. Her hair was still in rollers. Her daddy was busting at the seams. And her scream, man, it got all the more extreme. As she flew through the air to this extraterrestrial machine. And I said, oh my God, this can't be a dream. Hallucination supreme, even obscene. So I jumped into action like a Vietnam era Marine. I said, This is gonna be war. Man, I'd seen one before. I had a stash of ammunition underneath my trailer floor, and I'd heard freaky stories galore from Bubba next door. And it sure ain't my ass the aliens gonna probe and explore. I grabbed a 12 gauge pump and an AR. I got my granddaddy's government issued K bar. I said, You aliens should have never came down here. Now, this is gonna be war. Cause I've been, I've been waiting on them aliens to come. I've been waiting on them aliens to come. I've been waiting on Aliens to go. I told y'all this was stupid. So I threw some cover fire and I jumped and I crawled to my truck. I knew if I was gonna beat these aliens that I'd need distance and luck. So I sped through the muck until I ended up over by the fence line. I hunkered down in the I started sighting in my gear when this little green man appeared And he looked right through my soul while in my eyes he stared And I knew he must have got scared when he saw that I had no fear And I'd smoke his little green ass without shedding a tear And then he disappeared, I said, God, this is really getting weird And so I ran through that trailer park like a redneck Paul Revere I said, the alien coming. Now don't take to running, boys. Let's take our stand here, y'all. Let's do some extraterrestrial hunting. Cause I've been, I've been waiting on them aliens to come. I've been waiting on them aliens to come. I've been waiting on them aliens to come. <laughs> Well, stars fell on Alabama, and a lot of other shit has too. But the last thing we were gonna take was being pursued by some alien crew who intergalactically flew through time and space just to land into the back 40 trailer park. Yeah, we made our mark. We beat the aliens back, and we did it in the dark. And we found Wanda, and her only remark was that she gets they had to abduct her. But in her nightgown, man, that was just harsh. And I even stole a little space traveling card. I put it out in the barn. Me and Bubba painted in camouflage. We're about to embark as an interstellar white trash Lewis and Clark. We're gonna call ourselves the Alabama Astronauts. I've been waiting on 
waiting on them aliens to come. I've been waiting on them aliens to come. I certainly appreciate all y'all coming and hanging out. And thank you, Hugo, and thank you, Scott, for putting this whole thing together. Uh, this is a, whenever I quit, whenever I quit preaching and moved back home to Mobile, I didn't have no marketable skills. So I had to join the U.S. military. In 2013-14, I was on the other side of the world. And when we went over there, they told us we couldn't tell anybody where we were going. We had to tell them we were going to undisclosed location in Southwest Asia. So I wrote this song when I was over there called The Undisclosed Location in Southwest Asia Killing Floor Blues. It's about dealing with the moral and spiritual consequences of participating in the most horrible thing in the face of the earth. I hope you like it. Well, I'm a uniform nothing. Nowhere land. In this dry desert heat, in this dry desert sand, in the camel in the distance, Lord, he looks so free. Blows the dust from his hide in between my clenched teeth. My clenched teeth. My clenched teeth. And the bombs they just keep a falling. Undertakers in the sky. And I think about my babies when I left them, they were crying. And I know I will never believe everything that I believe. Cause I can't even tell the difference between a prison and this war. A prison and this war. A prison and this war. Because there might have been a time. It was right to say, God bless you. But I'm afraid that time is no more. And there might have been a time when it was right for us to ask forgiveness. But the killers ain't the ones that's praying. When we were out on the killing floor.
good guys and the bad guys We ain't so easily defined